Yet another video on the Beretta PX4 Storm Trigger Reset Saga. Here is a subcompact. Obviously, that chamber is clear. Here is a compact, and that chamber is clear as well. All right, the uh, compact is set up to have the short trigger reset and return immediately on the wall with no take up. This subcompact is mostly going to have the long reset and just as I say that this time it's going to have the short reset I can tell that because the uh, safety block plunger did not fully return so it's going to have the short reset and it's on the wall this time the plunger went all the way down so I know it's going to have the long reset with take up. Okay, so my previous videos have shown uh, why that's happening and uh, what you can do to ensure that it goes either way. You can ensure that it always has the long reset or that it always has the short reset. Now some people have asked what their gain will be. Well, I don't know for certain. I can only tell you what it is on my pistols. But there's a fairly easy way that you can give it a dry run and see what you think of it. First off, you take the gun down. Get rid of the slide and we're only going to deal with a frame. We don't even need this gun in frame here. Okay, so at this point what you can do is uh, pull the trigger and hold the firing pin safety actuation lever in the up position, press the draw bar down, pull the hammer back, you wouldn't even have to do that. But at this point, we've put it in the short reset mode. Um, I can tell that because this lever is up. And then at that point, you have your short reset and you're on the wall. Versus if you hold that lever down when you reset the draw bar, now you can see that that lever is down, that lever is staying down, and now you have the long reset with take up. All right, so you can pretty easily measure what your gain is going to be. So again, I'll do the long reset by resetting the draw bar and holding the safety firing pin safety actuating lever down and um, at this point we can take a ruler now I don't know if this is going to show up well on camera here but I'm just going to hold that ruler precisely even with the back of the trigger and uh, as I let it out you can see where it's going to reset I believe at about a quarter of an inch right there it reset and then there is the take up okay now if I do that again I'm gonna hold this lever up reset the draw bar I'm not sure if you need to even cock the hammer for this test but now here you can tell I'm gonna have the short reset because that draw bar is up or that that lever is up and now the draw bar is going to be resetting off the sear instead of off this lever so again we can get our steel tape in there and um, watch where the reset is going to happen at about an eighth of an inch I believe on this pistol and there it was right there and again I'm essentially on the wall with no take up so that's a way that you can tell what kind of gains you're going to get um, obviously you can't really 
tell what it's going to feel like firing the gun with the slide off, but at least you can kind of see uh, the difference in the long reset and the short reset. Um, so I hope this is useful information to somebody. Thanks for watching.